Welcome back to The Last Door, Season 2, Episode 2. Let's go try to find Oscar. Should be somewhere around here. The Fisherman's Lodge. Perhaps Oscar is a fisherman. But before going to the most obvious place, let's go to the left. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can talk to the window? Hey, how you doing? Oh. Alright. Windows closed shut. I guess I don't like to talk around here. Hold on. A compass. Oh, I thought maybe the compass was pointing to the window. Nope. Snow all but covers the window. Evidently, no one has been here to clear it in a very long time. It's too frosted over to see inside. This is the door of the Church of Wickport. This town is a wick, and I'm gonna make it burn. Or I could, you know, just find Oscar and solve the thing. Ooh, a shore. This, I think, is the shore that I heard when I was doing the hypnosis. Okay, hold on. Seems like that's where I'm supposed to go, so I really want to know what's over here. <laughs> Great, a bunch of drunk sailors. I'm gonna suffocate from the fumes of all the cigarette smoke. Old poster of a local traditional sport. Old pictures of the village in the village's inhabitants. Wheel taken from the helm of a ship. Perhaps a trinket from the owner's days as a ship's helmsman. This lady dressed rather elegantly for someone who came to drink in a place like this. Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem to be the finest establishment, that's for sure. Bottles of rum, dark beer, and a couple of taps of pale ale. Those two fishermen have just given me a suspicious look. Good morning. You want a drink? Do you know a man called Oscar? You mean Father Oscar? You can find him in the church, when he's not in here. It's right outside. Hmm. Have you ever met Professor Wright? The professor? Sure. Saw him every other day as a young'un. Always involved in the village. He was a la-di-da, all right, but folk respected him. He got stuck in. Didn't last, though. Shut himself away. Started getting visitors from out of town. He stopped coming to the village eventually. Last I heard, he'd gone crazy. None of us knows for sure, though. Been years since I saw him. What is with that man on the corner? <laughs> Wait, on the corner? I don't think you want to sit on a corner. That sounds very uncomfortable. Fred, you can ignore him. He's a sad, lonely drunk. Sad, lonely drunk that I'll probably have to interact with to solve the puzzle, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Good morning. Let me drink in peace. Are you a ship captain? Why? What's it to you? Does I look like a captain? I'm just gonna go with a southern accent here. Well, yeah. You look like a fish person. Look at your coarse skin. Got freaking gills. What is this, Innsmouth? Because of your coarse skin, weathered by years of salt and wind. You met many folk in Wickport yet. It's common enough around these parts. <laughs> what, do I have to convince him that I know he's a ship's captain? I don't even know if he's a ship's captain. What does it matter? 
I saw a boat on the shore. Maybe I need to, like, get him undrunk so he'll take me to a place and do a thing? I, I don't know. Because of the hat you're wearing? <laughs> a hat don't make a Captain Townie. You can buy a hat like this in any flea market in England. And because of your hands, calloused by years of knotting rope and reeling in line. Any fisherman has hands like these. Because of the three earrings you're wearing. You have double the three capes, is that right? Indeed I have. Good Hope, Lewin, and Horn. Therefore I hold the right to stand before kings, and to piss against the wind. If I dies in the sea, these three rings will pay my wake. But no, that'll not happen now. Do you mean you will not set sail again? I love the sea more than anything. It's my passion, my freedom, and my life. But there are many things about him that we do not know. There are, far from the coast, in the deep dark, things we are still unprepared to behold. You're talking about Cthulhu, aren't you? Believe me, those things await deep down. Have you seen any of those things? No, but you may have heard one or two of the stories the fishermen tell about things seen out there. It is not but tales for youngins, mere superstition from men too cowardly to face the dark. Any good seaman knows that in the strong wind, a stretched rope can shake and sing. I, myself, have mistaken such keening for the wail of a child. But there was one time, one time, it was nothing of the sort. Then the sea howled. It was not thunder, not a strong wave clashing with my ship. No. It was like a voice. It spoke to me in a language I cannot describe. A sound muttered by a living something. A call unlike anything I've heard before. And I understood. What did you understand? I understood that there was no more freedom for me, that the sea now had other lords, and whoever they were, I did know they would not share it. What happened then? As I navigated back to shore, I lost control of my ship in a great storm. The rocks of the cliffs did the rest. I do not know where the remains of my dear Augustine ended up. With the passing of years and tides, I looked for them once, for many moons, but all I found was this bar in the bottom of an empty glass. I've never returned to the shore since. May she forgive me. Now, leave me be. You have the gratitude of me and my whiskey. All that blathering worked up a right sore thirst. Talk to that window. Think of all the things it's seen. Some abandoned, abandoned wooden blanks? Perhaps they are here for the repair of local fishing boats. Actually, wait a minute. I should probably try to go inside of the church, because that's where Oscar is, right? <laughs> of course, it's locked. Alright, well, it says uh, the barman, or bar person, I think it was a woman, right? So that uh, Oscar's usually either in the church or in the tavern. He's obviously not in the tavern, so that's kind of weird. An old rotting boat rests on the shore. The name Provenance is written on the side. Old 
old rusty bronze bell, typical of a seafaring seafaring vessel. It is engraved with the name Augustine. Oh, that's the guy's boat. Yoink. Someone may be able to tell me more about it. This old ship is completely wrecked. Wait, is this... Didn't he say that he was never able to, like, find the wreck of his ship? Are you telling me I just went down the shore, like, 20 feet and found it? Or did I misunderstand what he told me? Didn't he say he looked for it and he was only able to find, like, a couple things? I find this very implausible. Far in the distance, I can see a lonely tree, bent by the sea wind. Yo, dude, you know that boat that you've been missing for like 20 years? I found it by walking 20 feet down the shore. What do you think about that? Why, that bell is from Augustine. My Augustine! Where on earth did you find it? <laughs> 20 feet down the shore, would you believe it? I found it on the beach near the shipwreck. I thought I would never see it again. I would clean it and make it shine anew. How long have you been here? I mean, he's... Like, he's drunk and he's, it sounded like he was telling tales about sailing around the capes and how back in the old days his boat was caught in the storm after he heard the message and understood. And he lost his boat. It sounds like he was talking about something that happened like 10, 20 years ago. But his wreck was 20 feet down the fucking coast. Down the beach. Like, what? Did this just happen yesterday? If it, if it just happened yesterday, then I can believe that you hadn't found it yet, but... You made it sound like it happened years ago. Wickport Beach. Our beach? Why, I must go. I must go straight away. I would be reunited with my poor Augustine. What will remain of her? No, no, I dare not go. Oh, but I must. Good day to you, sir. Alrighty then. That is... that makes no sense. Talk to me! Not the cracks in your hole, nor your flaking paint. None of it matters. You are beautiful as ever, Augustine. Today, we will watch the sunset together. Good sir, I cannot put in words what a great service you have rendered this drunken knave. Just as you, a stranger, have brought me to my lost treasure. May this old sailor spyglass, in whatever way it can, help light the way to yours. Take it. It is a gift from the heart. Hmm. Can I use it to look at the tree in the distance, maybe? No? What should I do with it? Been rusted by the salt water, but it's still in good condition. Yeah, I'm not really entirely sure what to do with it. I mean, I found... Well, no, I didn't find Oscar. I'm st I guess I'm... Yeah, I guess I'm still looking for Oscar. But I'm also obviously looking for the entrance to the place. But I don't see how the spyglass helps. Look at the boat! No, it's right there. 
Okay. Uh. I mean. <laughs> I could use it to spy inside of the window before it shuts? Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Are you home yet? Melt the snow. No. Spy inside. No. I wonder who keeps opening and closing it. It's very mysterious. Yeah, I mean, surely I'm supposed to use the compass... Or the telescope here, right? Anything new to talk about? Oh, when will the church open? Church? Let me give you some advice. Barmaids ain't the people to ask about church opening hours. This here bar is my church. Most of the village have come to see things my way, too. We praise here these days. The whole village has forsaken the church. But why? The town is forsaken. No work on the coasts these days, see? Few can make a living. Most of the fishers and sailors have up and left. Half the cottages lie abandoned. Those who stayed, they barely leave their homes. Except to come here, of course. But surely there must be more than just this. Many coastal towns face the same struggles, but none lie abandoned. Well, there's rumors. Silly stories if you ask me. But some take them real serious. Fishers. Big, dependable guys. They'll tell you if they've seen stuff out there on the water. Apparitions. Shapes among the rocks. I say it's the booze talking. And I should know. Who could see anything in all the mist anyway? But fishers. They're superstitious. Folk believe the tales, and one by one, they just didn't come home no more. Hmm, she talked about seeing things, like, in the rocks, through the fog. Almost sounds like I'm supposed to use my spyglass just to, like, look out to sea or something, but I didn't see any option for that. What can you tell me about Captain Morville? Does he come here often? Oh, wait. I've already asked this? He's a regular drunk? Uh-huh. And none of you are Oscar, right? So, who the hell do I talk to about the church opening hours? I don't know, I'm thinking Oscar's the guy in the place that keeps shutting the window. Look inside. Look inside. Dick. Am I actually supposed to, like, melt the snow on the window to look inside or something? No, I didn't think so. That would just be silly. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. I don't see any hotspot to, like, use my telescope. Alright, I'm gonna take a look around and I'll be right back. Well, let's head back to the inn and see if there's something I can do here. I doubt it, but just in case. Respect his privacy, don't steal his crap, gotcha. <laughs> An ugly painting. Lovely. It's still snowing. Can I look outside? No. Yo! How you feeling? Feeling alright, mein Freund? Just a bit tired. I have discovered the identity of the man we seek. Oscar is the priest of Wicksport Parish. The church door is closed. My dear Wakefield, what advice can I offer? A church would not remain closed all day. If you must wait, then do so. And in the meantime, talk to the villagers. Perhaps they will reveal something useful about the professor. <coughs> If only I could just let time pass. 
Unfortunately, though, apparently I need to do something that I haven't done yet to actually allow time to pass. Okay, back to looking around. I'll be right back. Hmm. This isn't some, like, asinine wait in the shadows for him to pop out kind of thing, is it? In fact, I think it maybe is. Because this, this window normally shuts if you come at it from any other angle. I, I guess you have to come at it from back here so that, so that you can surprise him, maybe? Apparently, okay. Well, I just wasted ten minutes just with my thumb on my ass running around wasting time. That was very unpleasant. Excuse me, are you spying on me? <laughs> he's already he's already shut it like 15 times. I tried to walk up there, he shut it, and then I left the area, came back, and then it was open again. And then I walked up there, and he shut it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. This, oh my god, this is so silly. It's one of those classic adventure game things where they have an idea, right? Like, okay, we have a scene where some person's spying on you through the window and we want the player to catch them, right? So I think, okay, well, if the person who's spying on you sees that you know that they're there, they're gonna, you know, shut the window, right? So that they don't look like they're spying on them anymore. They don't want to look too suspicious. But then it's like they went, oh, you know what? But if they shut the window, like, how are we gonna have it so... Like, if you mess up the puzzle the first time, how do we have it so you can continue? We need to make the puzzle kind of reset itself. So how do we do that? By making it constantly open and close and open and close all the time until they get it right. Which makes absolutely no sense, but they just did it anyway. Ah, <sighs> adventure games. I'm sorry, I did not mean to. Uh, yes, you did. You're not from these parts, are you? No, I'm just passing through. Are you alright? Yes. Could you could you do me a favor? For a long time, I've wanted to visit the tomb of my lover, but I cannot leave the house due to my illness. Could you please leave, the f leave these flowers there? No one in this village will do this service for me. Nah, I'm too busy. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I'm not patient enough to read this at the moment because I'm too pissed off from that puzzle. Graveyard through the path right there. Okay. Carter. Why were you spying on me? Oh, don't, don't put it like that. It sounds so terrible. I just... Watch folks passing by. That's called spying. I cannot leave the house, so I spend my days at the window. It is awful interesting. You'll learn a lot about people this way, you know? Really? What can you tell me about myself? I've only observed you for a while, but... I can tell you're on an important mission, looking for someone dear. There is a worry over your shoulders, and a long way ahead of you. Thank you, fortune teller. Well, that was remarkable. I'm frankly astonished. Um, I don't think the first two really matter anymore. Um, yeah, those don't matter, but what about Father Oscar? A man who's lost his purpose. I see him walking aimlessly in the morning and evening, nervous and doubtful. That's also not very helpful. Goodbye. Hold on, I'm curious. Will the person shut the uh, the window again? Or have I established trust? Okay, I've established trust. Tell me, if that person never leaves their home, why do they have fresh flowers? How do they have fresh flowers, rather? Did they order them from Amazon? Carter. Oh, I guess we found them. Rose Carter? Bury my body with the salted driftwood. 
with the green seaweeds and the worn out ropes, where I can feel a cold autumn breeze. That's lovely. Farewell to those of you that walk beside my grave. Here I lie, my name written on stone under the sun. Do not bring flowers to this place, for rum is all I crave. Now I rest under the same stars I sailed by when alive. <laughs> rum is all I crave, alright. The compass points to... This grave? Oh, I wasn't even looking at the compass. What's here? Is this... This wouldn't happen to be the entrance, would it? Oh no, it's just a thing. Something buried. What in the hell even is that? An engraved stone. It seems to be only one half of a larger statuette. Okay. Yay, I triggered the script that allows me to go see the father. Ooh. Oh, this is the tree that I saw on the coast, isn't it? The wind-blown tree. Hello there. You can't be Father Oscar, can you? Because I just heard the church bells, he must be back at the church. Windswept old gnarly tree is clinging onto the cliff with what roots remain. Someday it'll fall, it'll fall into the ocean below. What a tenacious thing. Beautiful. Now just put the cloth over his eyes. Good morning. I'm Dr. Wakefield. You come from the town, don't you? You need an answer. I know by your accent. Be careful around these cliffs. This is no place for tourists. It's hardly a place for anyone now. The man snorts. You best be on your way back. Strange things have been happening here. What do you mean? Seamen and fishermen alike swear to have heard voices in the rising tide. Inhuman screams, some of them say. And there are some who claim to have witnessed ungodly things in the dead of night. I once saw a ghastly thing crawling out there amongst the rocks. That thing, the one you saw on the rocks, can you tell me more about it? Late night it was, me on my boat, fishing. That's when I gets the best catch. Then I saw it. Not under the water, as the others say. It was on a rock, perched there, like it was smelling for something. The shape of it, like nothing I ever saw before. Not walking on the earth, nor swimming in the sea. The thing was big and hunched over, like a crouching man. The way it moved. It made my flesh crawl. Whatever it was, the mist itself was its ally, hiding it from my bare eyes, and in the end, disappearing away together. I swear, should I see that horror again, I will take my most vicious harpoon and thrust it so deep in its wretched body that they will have, they'll have to bury them together. Um, <clears throat> screams, you say? Bloody drunks. They say the, sow the sea howls at them, as if that was something new. So what you doing? I come here when I can, to watch the shore. Just in case that thing comes back. The mist down there is just too thick. I can see better from here, even if my eyes are not what they used to be. Damn it. If I could somehow bring my once-sharp eyesight again... 
By God, I would impale that abomination for sure. You don't say. Would you like a telescopic enhancement? Do you see the abomination? Here, will this help you watch the shore? Why, it is old to be sure, but this telescope has been patched up to a rare beauty. You have my thanks, stranger. I'm indebted. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what is that? On the cliff there. Well, blow me! Oh, sure, I'd love to. But if it isn't, the Wright's old summer house. I thought it entirely destroyed. It looks like you can get there using the old cliff path. Excuse me. Did you say blow you? Well, if you pull down your trap... Did you say the right summer house? Well, yes. I never saw it myself. I was too young at the time. But everyone around here knows the story well. It was a terrible tragedy, you see. One night, there was a landslide just beneath the house. Most of the building fell sheer into the sea, leaving only yonder ruins. Many died, though by a miracle, young Master Wright was spared. You can see it from here. Look, right there on the other side of the beach. Do you see it? I will not waver in my determination to destroy that thing. Not while this old body of mine endures. Alright, have fun. Uh, if you want to stay here at night, do you want my lantern? No? Okay. Alright, well, I'm not going to the cliff just yet. Let's go see Oscar. Although, at this point, I don't really see why I need to talk to him. His window has been boarded up. A confessional. So Wickport serves a Catholic congregation. I'm just going to awkwardly walk past you and go examine the rest of this place. Jesus Christ! This neglected and decaying cross reflects the faith of the villagers all too well. Humble altar made of unadorned marble. I don't know... I don't think of marble as being humble. Marble's kind of like really expensive. Good morning. Good morning, my son. What is the matter, fa what is the matter, father? What has happened to your parishioners? The village has seen bleak times. Many have left, and the rest have lost their faith. Every day I ring the bells, but no one answers. May God have mercy on their souls. Why do you suppose that is? I could not say. The mist that shrouds this coast and the shapes that swirl within have long been a source of hear hearsay. But lately the stories people tell are not of pirates and smugglers, but something more sinister. Some say the devil himself has come to our shore. It is a rumor I dare not disregard. Are you personally acquainted with Professor Wright? Why, yes, of course. Adam was... Well, rather, is... Not merely a parishioner, but one of my closest friends. Since our youth, we enjoyed many scholarly, but sometimes really fervent discussions. He an anthropologist and myself a theologian. That is, until he fell ill. 
but since he is like that, I have not visited him. Well, that was a pointless conversation, pretty much. Gotta go. Wait a moment, please. I need to ask for a small favor. Please give this to Adam. I don't know if it will mean anything to him now, but it will bring peace to my soul. If there is some token of our friendship resting by his side. Okay, so now I can head back to the manor. What is the picture of? Just them together? Picture of two young men? They could be Professor Wright and Father Oscar. Well, given that I just got the photo from him, they probably are. I don't see why he'd hand his old friend a photo of some, like, two random dudes. It's like, here, to remember our time together. I have left the flowers on your lover's grave, as you asked. Thank you so much. I'm in your debt. Okay, we'll pay up. Where's my money? Pfft. Let's go give him the photo. Hmm. It's closed. I think he's... I'm, I, I get the feeling I'm going to come back to one of these people. Either... This guy here, or my other friend, Kaufman, and I swear, they're gonna have their eyes plucked out by angry crows. Wait, why are the lights off up here? What the hell? And I think that's his room. Why is it closed? It's not locked, is it? What the hell? Locked with a key? What? That's disturbing. The device is silent. Yeah, I was just wondering if maybe there was something, something new being played in the tunnels. I don't suppose he's hanging out in here, looking over his old files? Nope. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to come back here just yet. That's the feeling that I get. But let's just check around. Should be the same old thing that I said before. Can I unlock it from the inside? Nope. It wouldn't really matter, it'd just be a shortcut. Could be in with the birds. Yeah, I mean, something's obviously wrong. Given his mental state, there's no good reason to lock the door, and where's his caretaker? There should be somebody with him at all times. Check back here real quick. Wait a minute, this wasn't open before. This is new. Another covered cage. Cage covered with embroidered cloth. The end of a phrase is written on it. A visitor will call. Oh, this one said something too. If the birds fall silent, a visitor will call. Is that a good thing? I don't think so. There's no bird inside. Coat stand. 
Nothing of interest. Closed chest. Oh, there's a key. Let me just check back here real quick. Real quick. Mm, I don't want to go back here. Alright, I'm going to assume that's the key to his room. I think that's the only thing left in the house that's, un that's still locked. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be in here. Professor Wright is not here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Open book on the floor. The Book of Birds. It is a compilation of legends related to birds. Some of the text is marked. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached a crossroads. The wretched crow tried to lead them astray and onto the path of mists. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond that veil. Only the wisdom of the crested hopo and the prudence of the red-feathered robin could lead the remaining 28 back onto the path of righteousness. Ever since, the birds have sung their praise. For without the hoopo and the robin, silence would have fallen forever. Silence would have fallen forever, but it sounds like what I want to do is make them silent. I don't know. Alright, well that's obviously a hint about which ones to cover up, I think. I think it's just saying cover up, what, the crow? Or, no, I guess the crested hopo? H hoopo? And the red feathered robin? Yeah, it mentions those two, and I do have two cloths. So, seems likely that I'm supposed to cover those two up. His dressing gown and slippers. Okay, so he's... <laughs> there's, a, there's a confused naked man somewhere out there. Still, snow, still snowing outside. At least it's not open, because if it was, then I would be worried he took off his clothes and jumped out the window. Okay, well, I think I will end it there. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will solve the mystery of the birds.